Donald wants to know, what does Shimano's DFLY unit do and how is it installed? Along with the proliferation of electronic drivetrains comes the opportunity for new ways to interact with your bike. One of the latest accessories to enhance your Shimano E-Tube DI2 electronic shifting experience is the DFLY wireless unit. Although this unit won't give you wireless shifting and operation of your components, it does offer some pretty cool options for people using an Ant Plus computer. The DFLY unit will currently enable you to view battery life and gear selection on your compatible computer and the unit's capabilities are rumors to soon expand. Wireless drivetrain control and phone slash computer app compatibility are only a matter of time. The latest firmware for the 9070 Durace shifters allows you to take advantage of the buttons that are on top of the hoods that many people may not even know exist. With the latest firmware addition in the DFLY unit, the rider is able to use those buttons to control their computer without removing their hands from the controls. More apps and even wireless desktop connection are on the horizon, so the possibilities are endless. The DFLY unit can be installed anywhere in the DI2 system. The most common place for people to wire it into the system is at the rear derailleur. Most people will buy the shortest E-tube wire available, which is the 150mm wire, and place the DFLY unit on the seat stay just above the dropout. To wire it into your DI2 system, simply unplug the wire from the component you are going to place the DFLY unit in line with. Now simply plug that wire into the DFLY along with the additional wire you purchased and reconnect the new wire to the original component or junction box. Of course, above the dropout isn't the only place you can place the DFLY unit. If your DI2 system is wired internally and there is a spot in the frame where you can get the DFLY unit inside, it can be placed in line with a junction box inside of the frame as well. There are countless mounting options to try and hide the unit in other places on the frame as well, like on the stem or seat tube or anywhere else an E-tube wire is nearby. Get creative and find a solution that works best for your particular frame and bike setup. That's all there is to it. Be sure to keep your components as well as the DFLY unit up to date with the most current edition of the firmware to take advantage of the capabilities of the system as they're developed. If you want your question asked on Ask a Mechanic presented by Art Cyclery, send your inquiry to webletters at competitorgroup.com.